Tonight on Grilling with the Guru, we got gumbo pizza. What you said? Gumbo pizza. Come on, man. What? Gumbo pizza. Y'all believe in this? Grilling with the Guru pizza. starts <laughs> right now. Let's check that out. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Grilling with the Kurt. Gumbo pizza. pizza. We're doing traditional, non-traditional, because that's how we like to do things. Now, well, okay, well, how'd you come up with this? Uh, okay, well, I know we did the, the Cajun French dip. Right. Which was gumbo juice, yeah. and we did the grilled shrimp and, and, and chicken and boom. sausage. And, mm. and that was good. And that was good. That motivated you? I get, I, look, who knows where they come from, the ideas, but they come, <laughs> so this is how we do things. So I text Keith. Gumbo pizza. He said, okay. <laughs> I told it to my daughter. She said, I never heard of that because it's never been done. But we're going to do it tonight for yeah. y'all. Yeah. Now, the other dish we're doing is. A traditional, near, near and dear to your heart, mine too, in every occasion. I've I don't know anybody that doesn't like a good shrimp stew. Shrimp stew, y'all. Homemade. So With we the got. eggs in it. Oh, yeah. You, okay, we're, you're going to teach me a new trick because I normally hardball my eggs yeah. and then break them open and then put them okay, in. Okay, the, so there's, there's three schools of thought when it comes to that. Let me do this right so I don't get obscene. One <laughs> is uh, you ball the eggs and you put them in. Yeah, and I, I split them. After I ball them, I split right. them and then I put them right. in. Right. Two, you crack the eggs and poach them in the liquid, which is my favorite. Or and three, no eggs at all. Oh, some no. people say, Kisi Sai eggs. Oh, no, no bro. No, you got, no, you got no, to you have got the cocoa. You got to have the eggs. And then with that, we're going to do some beautiful smothered okra. Nice little smothered okra. Yeah, we got some that's rotel. Gonna be nice. And mm. then we got our pizza. We got some beautiful andouille, some shrimp, chicken. So, so no pepperoni, but look at this. Look no, at yeah, this. Yeah, but beautiful. Bro, that's Cajun pepperoni right there. Now, where'd you get that from? I got it from Rouse's, but it's, uh, hey, Mr. Frank Fontenot. Here you go, baby. Frank Fontenot out of Ville Well, he's a Fontenot. When somebody says a Fontenot, you ask him, what part of Ville Platte That's from? right. <laughs> yeah, not, of, not where you're huh? from. So, Mr. Frank, this is yours, and it looks good, guys. Now, I can tell you, these were a little bit larger when you took them out the back. Yeah, they shrunk. They, Apparently, they shrunk. They, whenever you take, introduce them to air, they just. <laughs> they shrink. Hey, we want to thank uh, uh, Gilbert's Greatest Foods, uh, Louisiana Love Seasoning, for providing us with uh, with our stuff tonight. Yes, we and do. We got, we got a new product. We got extra love, baby. More love. Oh, yeah, more love. So this is my daughter. Love my, squared. My love squared. Love, love and more love. My, <laughs> my daughter says, uh, "Boy, Daddy, I really like your seasoning." I said, "But, but." Uh, she said, "You got something a little hot." I said, "Well, that's the beauty of it. You could customize it." She said, "Yeah, but." So two or three more times. I said, "All right, fine." So I got some. I got some. Hotter and mo more of it, cayenne pepper. <laughs> and uh, I had some other requests, too, and it's, it's been taken up. People really do enjoy it. That's awesome. It's a little hot for me, uh, but that's okay, you know? That's right. And we got a bunch of friends out there, man. We do have we a lot a of, of friends. friends. Ronald and Gail Hewland from the beautiful uh, Youngsville area. Right. They are loyal fans, and we want to say hi, Ronald and Gail. And John and Tina, they work the night shift at a lab. Uh, they watch us all the time. They don't even go to pick up their specimens until the show's no, over. They, no, they say, listen, it's Wednesday night. The specimens can wait. They've been in the box all day. Yeah, uh, they're all nice. Not a half hour. Yeah, and, going, and, going. and then who? You, uh, there's somebody you have. Well, they, I mean, but I want to give a shout out to Brother. Uh, uh, brother, yeah. Uh, uh, brother we, Marine. Brother Marine. We were out of the uh, Louisiana Open. Yes, sir. Cooking. and, oh, and that was a good time. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and Brother. And he loves the love, the Louisiana yeah, yeah, love. Yeah, man, he ordered a bunch, a know, bunch after, of after the stuff. Actually, we, we were treated well out there. And then, I know we got to get to cooking, but the <laughs> great story. My daughter comes up to me. She said, Hun, Daddy, my, my, my best friend's boyfriend uh, is one of your biggest fans. She, they, were, they were watching TV, and yeah. he was watching YouTube. And she goes, oh, who are you watching? She said, I'm watching the Guru. <laughs> she goes, well, that's my best friend, Daddy, up there. And he says, he said, he said, how long have you been, how long have you been watching the show? She said, he said, let me put it this way. You know that first dinner I ever cooked for you, that special dinner uh -huh. I cooked for you? She's like, yeah. He's like, that was inspired by the Guru hey, show. Listen, you know, you that's, when, love you, that, that's huh? when you made it, baby. Oh, I mean, yeah. You know, oh, dog. Hey, thanks. What's, what's his name again? Oh, uh, Rich. Rich. Rich, shout Thank out. We're going to have you on. We're going to have you out here. We're going to let you come watch the show live. And up close, my brother. And in personal, Rich, thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, enough of that stuff. 
Let's get to cooking, bro. Yeah, you want to throw it to break so we can kind of prepare, or are you ready to go like this? Let's do a little bit right now. Okay. And then we'll just, uh, then we'll take a break after that. So, uh, look, we're going to just start uh, by building our, our, uh, our uh, are we going to start smelling our okra? We're going to start building, building our stew. That's right. Oh, by the way, uh, pizza tonight is courtesy of a little place that's near and dear to my heart. Mr. Dale Abraham runs a place in Scott, Louisiana called Boo Boo's Pizza. Uh, it used to be called Pizza Palace. It's in the same place. It's right there. On, oh, it's on Cameron Street at Westgate. Listen, he has great pizza, and we're using some of his crust tonight because he has the best crack of crust in Louisiana. But i tell you what else he got. He has the best fried fish you're going to eat. Come on, you. Bro, his fried cast I'm telling you, man. You're going to... Come, you know where I'm at on Thursday? I'm eating fried fish at Dale. That's where I'm at. <laughs> so, Mr. Dale, thank you very much. Thank we you certainly very, do appreciate very much. it because uh, we're going to make you proud. So, what you got? Oh, you put well, the okra in I there? I got the okra. So, I'm going to get us some onion going. I started with like a, just about a third of a cup of little olive oil we'll just to wet the pot. Ooh. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, you just need a little something to get it going. That's right. Um, now, we're using some frozen okra because we just don't have any uh, fresh, but and that's okay. You could use frozen. Because they pick it, cut it, and freeze it. So can it's okay. I, can I steal this? Absolutely. Well, it's, it's for you. There we go. Now, the, the, the stew, uh, I normally start off with sauteing the onions and bell pepper down. Yeah. And then we're going to, we kind of, you know, y'all don't normally see us not make our own roux. But tonight, we're going gonna, we're gonna to do it's, the jar of roux. It's, it's just fine. It's okay. It's, it's delicious. It's okay. It's okay. People say, oh, if you don't make your own roux, it ain't no good. Nonsense. Nonsense. Now, now, a lot of people use like, uh, 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 what they call that, uh, cream of shrimp. Yeah, no, 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 Would no, you? no. Now, now we go. Now some. I got some issues. No, <laughs> oh no, uh -uh. we ain't using no cream of nut. No, no. We're using cream of roux. That's, That's what right. We're, we're using. just using some roux. We're gonna have a little onion and bell pepper. We're gonna saute that down with the roux. Get a nice thick, pasty gravy. Yep. And then we're gonna throw the shrimp in at the end, but we're gonna poach the eggs. Yeah, like uh, Momo said, we're gonna make it tick. We're gonna make it tick, tick, tick so like look, that. So y'all, we needed some vinegar at, for one of our other shows. So That's I picked, right. I picked this up. They put it in a water bottle. Yeah, don't drink that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are gonna whistle real yeah. good. If you, yeah, take, you, if you take a swig of that, you are gonna whistle. Yeah. So stir on that a little bit. And then we're gonna add the rotel in a little bit later. Yeah, a little bit later. Well, as soon as, soon as those onions start to break down, we'll add the rotel in. I'm gonna go ahead and get you another onion going for I'm your go ahead stew. And lift my fire up. Get a little hotter. Oh, yeah, about everything's getting done on the grill. Oh, yeah, the Cajun everything's grill. Everything's getting done on the Cajun grill. Hey, we got our new models coming in pretty soon. That's what you keep telling me. Oh, yeah, That's the what Cajun I keep hearing. Pro. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait for the new models non -shirt. All oh, stainless man. steel. All stainless steel. Double, two cold trays. Two cold trays, double independent rear suspension, God. four <laughs> barrel carburetor, man. And, a, and a hearse speed shift on the floor. Look bro. out, baby, it's an air shifter. Let's You're go. Right, bro. Let's go. <laughs> we load it up. So this is getting a little slimy, but we're going to cut that. That's going to be fine. That's what we got the vinegar for. And the way that works, guys, is the slime, uh, or they call it slime, it's just it's part, of the, part of the liquid in, a, in okra. Um, the chemical structure is broken down by, by acid, and that's mm -hmm. what vinegar is. Mm -hmm. So you could use any acid. You could use wine. You could use lemon juice. You could use any of the citrus juices. But vinegar doesn't, if you don't use too much of it, you can't taste it in the final right. product. Mm -hmm. And it's also a stronger acid, so you don't have to use too much. So traditionally, just some plain old white vinegar does the trick. Well, you want to throw it to break? Yeah, let's, let's take it to break. Let's let this get going. We, guys, we're going to throw the, the, the roux and the onions, saute and everything in the pot when you come back. That business. That's right. And then we're going to start on the pizzas. Oh. Gumbo pizzas. Well, you don't want to miss this. No. Welcome back to the show, guys. <laughs> what you did? <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, while y'all was away, me and Keith was at play. Yeah, see, all off camera, what we did, guys, we had this nice, beautiful cast iron pot on the Cajun grill. We had it set to a high cold tray height. Yep. Uh, we basically sauteed the bell peppers and the onions. Mm -hmm. Probably, what, about a whole uh, white onion? Yeah, about one whole white onion. And a which half would be orange, about, yeah, and about, a half red bell yeah, pepper. About, so about a cup of uh, white onions. Right. And about a half a cup each of the yellow and the red. Exactly. And then we did a little bit of garlic. 
Yes. But after we sauteed it down with yeah. a little bit, of, we put a little olive oil and we added a little bit of butter just to give it some some of that flavor. Some flavor, but be careful with the garlic, guys. Right. Uh, on that high of a heat level, that garlic will burn real quick. So. Yeah, we added it actually, actually after we added all the liquid right. and it That's was right. just simmering. So we but got, look at the steam yeah. coming off of that and yeah, the okay. smell. Oh, and we added one. We used Louisiana Love. Yeah. Seasoning and it's seasoned perfectly. Yeah. But just so to good. give it that little hint of like a gumbo flavor, we added one bay leaf, mm -hmm. which gives it that aroma and that flavor. Love bay. Bon? Oh, is it good? Yeah. I think I brought some French bread. Mm -hmm. We can eat it just with that. Uh, oh, mm. oh, that is good. And there ain't nothing <laughs> in it yet. There ain't nothing <laughs> in it. So we're gonna add the shrimp. We're yeah. gonna take the tails off. Right. They're already deveined. Season. Add the shrimp. You're gonna we're gonna put it back on the grill. We're gonna poach an egg. Right. We're gonna poach the eggs in there. But remember, guys, shrimp doesn't take long to cook. So no. It's all about time here, right? That's why we took this off. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit. Yep. We're gonna put it back on the grill. We got the rice on the grill. The rice is on the grill and the okra is on the grill. I know these people who've never seen this show. They said, "No, nah, come on." Yeah. Rice so, on the grill. We we didn't show you how we did it because we've done it a thousand times. A hundred times. times. Go watch. Go back and watch the alligator sauce pecan show. Oh, you remember that? Oh, what, bro? That was good. That was, that was good. a spiritual moment. It was. It was. So our our, our, our okra and rotel is is steaming here. We want to to smother it. We want to cook as much liquid out as we can and start to brown it. But again, like anything else, you got to be careful. When it starts to turn, that's right. And you got to be on it. We got the fire kind of set high, but we have the ability to turn it down at a moment's notice. That's right. We could drop it. We run about a thousand degrees right now, but that's okay. That's all right. I, we, we like that. So, when this rice is going to get done, it's going to poof up. It's going to be like a jiffy pop popcorn. Jiffy pop popcorn, <laughs> and I don't care. <laughs> it's going to poof up, and uh, it, the, we have a diamond pattern of some little vents in there Start that's going to steam out. And it's gonna be lovely, lovely. Beautiful rice. And then we're gonna make some, we're gonna make gumbo pizza. Gumbo pizza. So, look, so look, yeah. This is our, this is our ingredient can, tray. Can you see that, Matt? We have some of this beautiful font mills on Dewey that we got at Rouse's. And then this is some chicken thighs that we seasoned with Louisiana Love. Then we grilled them. Pre grilled. So it has this wonderful smoke Smoky flavor. flavor. So good. You even pre grilled the and shrimp. And we pre grilled the shrimp too. Why? Two reasons. One, we don't want to waste, we don't want to take the time to try and cook that on the pie shell. It's take too long to cook the meat right. and you're going to end up burning the bottom of the crust. And the, the seafood is going to be raw. And the seafood is going to be raw. The second reason is even if you could pull it off, the, those ingredients is going to release so much liquid, it's going to turn to soup. Right. Okay. So let, let the grill be your friend. What's in that pot over there? This is called Cajun pizza sauce. <laughs> 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 so this is a, this is a roux base that we made thick. Tick, tick, okay? And so, you're just going to put a skim layer of that yeah, we just, on the yeah, pizza We're going to treat it just like you should treat marinara. real marinara yeah. or Alfredo pizza sauce. Right. Thin layer, thin layer. Right. And then once it heats, it's going to liquefy. This is going to release some liquid. And it's, I bet you it's going to be good. I bet you I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would. I'm going to try it. Oh, we're going to give it a <laughs> shot. Huh? We have some of those beautiful pizza crusts from Boo Boo's Pizza in Boo Scott. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Hey, boo boo. That's Mr. Dale Go Abraham. Bigger than, bigger than basket. That's <laughs> Go see Dale. Uh, Dale's a good guy. He runs a great establishment. He has really good food. Yeah, and you know? it's all about the dough. It's it starts about, at the listen, dough. Listen, it, when you, it crunch. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna have a moment. So, and we have some cheese here. And normally you wouldn't put cheese in gumbo, but you always put cheese on pizza. <laughs> on everything. So I think <laughs> if nothing else, we're gonna half it. We're gonna put half. With well, cheese. Well, speaking of that French bread, you know, I didn't eat oh, lunch today, and you, you made the mistake of bringing <laughs> French bread. So we had the we had the pit lid. I cut an end cap of that off. We cut that in half. We kind of spread it out. Cut some of that andou. We put two slices. Put a little cheese on it. Put yeah. it on the grill. That makes it, everything makes a great appetizer when you're hungry. It, yeah, but this was almost a grilled cheese show. It was almost a grilled cheese it was show. Delicious. Man. So, you know, don't be afraid to experiment. Well, well let's go ahead and throw it the break, huh? Yeah, we're going to have another break, guys. We're going to continue working on uh, our okra. That's right. Our the rice, rice will cooking. be done. This is this is now at a stage where it's going to come together real quick. Really fast. So, we're going to concentrate now on making our pizza. But hey, don't go nowhere. You ain't going to want to miss this guy. First time ever done. Gumbo Pizza with Grilly with the Guru, baby. Come back, see you, folks. Hey, guys, welcome back to the show. Kurt, it's looking good. Everything is coming together. We got some beautiful smothered okra that, that we just took off. Look it's still that, steaming, bro. It, it is still steaming. So, look, come over here, Matt. Come see. 
We got the stew back on the grill. The rice is off the grill. The rice is done. The rice is done. Came out perfect, like yes, always. That's right. So now we're going to introduce our shrimp, and we're going to crack some cocos in there, some eggs. That's right. So if uh, get yeah. around Matt, I got them. There you go. So look, it's real easy. Just like that, guys. Now, yeah, the stew is very thick, and that's fine. But here's the thing. The shrimp are going to release some a water. A lot of water. And it's going to thin it out a little bit. So, but... When you introduce these eggs, you can't mess around in the pot. So get your shrimp where you want them and just kind of, there you go, keep Just drop them in there. Yeah, just like that. Boom. I'm sorry. Yep. Do three, four, five, whatever you want, however many eggs you want. At my house, if you do less than a dozen, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes it like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And say, oh, man, that looks silly. But look, it's going to cook over, okay? It's going to be, trust me on this, it's going to be good. One more. One more. Look, like right that. Beautiful. All right. All right. So let's make a pizza. Yeah. Gumbo pizza. Here we come. All right. So what you got that dough? You made that dough? No. Mr. Mr. Dale at uh, Boo Boo's, he, gave me, he was gracious enough to give him that. And he, it even came in his own pan. And he said, now, Kurt, don't put no water on that pan. I said, what are you talking about, Dale? He said, these, he said, these pans are tempered. He said, so if you put any water on it, it takes the coating off. Oh, yeah. And he said, now, you're going to be able to put dough back on it. You're just not going to be able to get it off again. Get it off. So, Mr. Dale, don't worry about it. I'm not going to wet your pan. So now we have our Cajun pizza sauce. Yes, you do. And we need a spoon. There you go. There's a spoon. Yo, that's thick. And that's okay. That's what we want. And you're just looking oh, for just a flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, you don't want to go crazy with this, okay? Just like, just like regular pizza sauce, the biggest problem with regular pizza with marinara sauce is people over sauce them, right? So as this heats up, it's going to thin out. It'll be just fine, and then it's going to borrow some liquid from our other ingredients. Which we pre-cooked the chicken. We pre-cooked the chicken just enough. We didn't do too much. We didn't overcook it. We right. just got it to 160 degrees on the meat thermometer. Right. And then we and then we cooked the shrimp. We pre-grilled our shrimp. And we got this beautiful andouille. We have some beautiful font nose andouille. And then we have some traditional uh, veggies. Veggies, oh, yeah. right? So we're gonna do. We're Build gonna put. Our, we're gonna put our Cajun pepperoni on first. Cajun pepperoni. Delicious pepperoni. Want to talk about? Just like that, some shrimp. And look, chicken, sausage, and shrimp gumbo is what we're making. If y'all hadn't figured that out. If you ain't figured it out yet. Huh? Like that, yeah. And like that. Okay. I'm going to put some whole, some slices of garlic because I love that flavor when it's, it kind of starts to char a little bit. And then we're going to put some onions because what's gumbo without onions? Right. Or bell pepper. Or bell pepper. So we're going to put some wait, of that too. Wait, 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 Tom, uh, what about the tomatoes? You put tomatoes in your gumbo? This might be the only time you ever <laughs> see me put tomatoes on anything that resembles gumbo. <laughs> no, this ain't New Orleans. <laughs> this ain't no Creole gumbo. This ain't Creole gumbo. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to put some because I love cherry tomatoes oh, on, yeah. a, on a pizza. Oh, yeah. So a couple little bell peppers. That's interesting. This is going to be a, this is it. Now, go ahead and put the cheese on, put the tomatoes on top. All right. Now, and another, another thing about pizza, guys, that people overdo, they over cheese. Okay, so, oh, you can't have too much cheese. Yeah, you can. Because what happens is the cheese melts and forms a mat, okay? It doesn't get gooey, and right. when there's too much cheese, it makes a solid mass. Oh, yeah. Okay, so whenever you go to pick it up, it's, it's just thick, and it's just not good. So All don't right. over cheese it. It just needs a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Now, you don't oh, stir it because you got no, both eggs no. in No, it. but you can shake it. Oh, I can shake it? You can shake it. Shake, shake it shake like that? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, <laughs> shake it. <laughs> Watch me shake it. All right. Like this. And we're going to finish it off with a little bit of Louisiana love. Let's have some gumbo pizza. Man, Come look on. at that. Huh? Right there. There we go. Hard right. fire. Hard fire. Hard right. fire. Okay, so let's just kind of recap. recap that. Let's, let's let's talk about what we did. So, yeah, well, we're you, doing. You talk and I'll snack. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> but anyway, so we're doing uh, we're doing uh, traditional and non-traditional. We're doing shrimp in what 
my mama used to call them black stew. Right. Dog stew. Dark shrimp stew. shrimp stew. Uh, with some eggs. Uh, we did the rice on the grill. We okra. did some beautiful sm- and we have a smothered okra expert in your beautiful mm. wife Jen's in here. She loves <laughs> smothered okra. So I said, here, taste it, Kyle. It's a good thing my mother in law is here. <laughs> this this would be It'd her be portion. Gone. Oh yeah. Yeah. There wouldn't so be any left she anybody t- she, else. She gave us the thumbs up. So we're gonna she go did. with that. Um, it is actually very good. I love it. And then we did our gumbo pizza. But listen, we only got a little bit of time left and we'll save that for the Alain Manger yeah. segment. So do, don't go nowhere. The big reveal is coming up, guys. We'll see y'all in just Gumbo pizza. a couple, couple <laughs> minutes. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the show. Listen, listen, listen. Hey. Mr. Dale. Crunch. I think we did you right. Listen. Oh, Ooh, baby. Baby, baby. baby. So look, guys, if you're just joining us, shame on you. But if you are, <laughs> we have this beautiful, authentic Cajun shrimp stew. You can't beat shrimp stew with some eggs poached in. Look at that. In the sauce. Look at that. It stains those whites. Boy, it's so good. Uh, Smothered okra with mm. some rotel. Mm-hmm. Blessed by Miss Jen. Oh, yeah. And we have, look. The first so, ever gumbo pizza. pizza. Gumbo I don't know pizza. which one. I think I, I think I'm gonna try the pizza first. Let's let's go for Can it. Can we do that? Yeah, but oh, well, we can do whatever we want. It's All gonna right. be a little show, so be. Yeah, be ready? Yeah, let's go. Mmm, bro. Mmm, well, that's good, yeah. It tastes like gumbo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just took a big bite of gumbo. It tastes like gumbo on the French bread. Mmm. Oh man. That mm. is amazing, Kurt. Mm. Okay, trademark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we see this around town. Twenty percent. Send us our royalty. The top. All right, now the stew. Shrimp stew, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Not really. What more? I mean, a shrimp stew. I mean, <laughs> if this isn't the most soul food cajun you can get that'll Look, just make your toes curl in the in the cajun dictionary on the comfort food they got a picture of this right oh here. my gosh mm. it is just i mean look it's rich the rice is perfect perfectly look, done on the grill we got some fresh green on everything was done on the mm-hmm. grill mm. it's so good and with this cool weather we're having right now it's perfect yeah where'd that come from i don't care but it brought us some shrimps too so mm-hmm. well mm. man that's good so, guys, another great show. Another great show. Thank y'all so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Let me try the okra. Go ahead and eat some okra. Mm-hmm. Join us again on Grilling with the Guru. I promise you, we're going to have some good food to talk about and cook. Yeah, we don't know what it is. But we're going to figure it out. Guaranteed. We will see you next time. Y'all be cool. <laughs> <laughs>